Good afternoon. I understand that all four of you attended the Northern Development Task Force meetings that were held on the peninsula. One at uh, Beagle Bay, which was blockaded, one at Midlagoon, then Gerrigan, and now Lombardina. Could you please tell me what do you think the general mood of the public was in regards to these meetings? Um, and please introduce yourselves. Okay, hi, my name's uh, Kathleen Cox. Um, I'm one of the leaseholders in the um, Beagle Bay Aboriginal Reserve. Um, I have concerns and issues in regard to this whole process of this uh, proposed uh, hub development on North Head. Um, I've followed the meetings over the last couple of days, attended the four meetings and from what I can gather in my opinion is that there's a consensus of the people that's been present of um, not wanting to support the, uh, the hub at North Head um, as well as um, there was no decision as I understand of any kind to give permission to, do some, to have access to country and do drillings. But um, I think there's a strong message that came up from the grassroots level outside the existing processes um, from people, some leaseholders, general residents um, of the peninsula of um, um, all of our voices um, and concerns should be heard. So I'm hoping that um, um, Gail and Duncan from the NDT will bring that message back to, um, to the Premier. And Elsa, as a representative for the Broomshire Council, what was your impressions of these meetings? Um, Elsa DeFoy, Broomshire, uh, but um, I've been coming up here for many years and seen the difference, how the people have improved, and the meetings, definitely no drilling, no oil leak. Now I'm getting all... <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no gas plants on the... Uh, and uh, the people of the full community, all meetings, definitely didn't want it. And your impression of the meetings? Me, oh, I'm sort of suicidal anyway from Lombardina. Just the new chairman of Lombardina, Aboriginal Corps. And oh. my impression of the... Congratulations. All the meetings that I went to is that the grassroots people are saying no to the gas plant on this peninsula. And what are their major concerns? Uh, pollution and taking of the country. And David? Um, it'd be dangerous for me to start off un uncontrolled, but uh, look, uh, it's interesting that I attended all four meetings and um, I'm ble very pleased I did. I had no intention of doing it, but Elsa convinced me to come up for a day, I've spent two days here now, I'm very surprised to find that at all of the meetings, including the blockade meeting, which I sort of drew a parallel with the Nukumba blockade, because in both cases, Aboriginal people felt that they were not being dealt with fairly and they weren't being given an opportunity be, to be heard. And, that's, and in that sense, the blockade was very successful. It was a meeting that went for about three hours, so it was a meeting outside of the official meeting. And at no time did I get any impression, except for a couple of TOs who were very offended about the whole process, that anyone supported a gas plant on the peninsula or at North End. And, and that they wanted to pursue a eco-friendly uh, 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 industries of their own choosing on their own communities, of which there are an incredible number on the Dampier Peninsula, probably 90 or 100. And those people are getting huge... Uh, self-esteem and self-confidence and believing in their own abilities by being able to do these small-scale ventures instead of some big corporate thing that they might be employed by which won't give them any of that individual self-satisfaction. So about drilling I was surprised to have to ask the question at the end of the meetings of Lombardina. Uh, 
if the convener of the meeting, Duncan Hoard, uh, what was going to be his report on the fact that one of his uh, instructions was to get permission to drill at North Head. He said he would say that he uh, didn't get permission. I said, no, uh, you haven't actually asked the question, so you've never actually been able to know whether drilling was to be permitted or not. I don't know why he didn't ask the question, but I suspect he didn't because he realised that the meetings were strongly against any development of gas plants on the peninsula which would completely be uh, opposed and directly opposed to the people's concept of development on the peninsula. They don't want an industrialised development on this peninsula. Thank you very much. Sorry, please. And this Sorry. is this is uh, will be a, as a public document, as an overview of what actually happened at those meetings. So thank you very much.